you guys, crew, and you back with another video. And today, well, since our last video got on the Curie and Hickory series, the prologue got four views in the first ten minutes, which I'm rather proud of. Wasn't expecting that after not being able to upload. After not, I, don't know, I was able to. It's just I wasn't. Um, I just didn't feel like it. So yeah, after not uploading for so long, I'm sorry about that. But yeah. Today we'll be talking about the power system, and we'll be into the prologue, such as the yokai race. There's one race of yokai that was mentioned in particular. I will give you ten seconds to guess what it was. First person to guess it, put your um, put it down. First person to guess it in the comments will get mentioned in our next video well in my next video so yeah doesn't matter if it's after the video or whatever just as long as you get it right but yeah um, so yeah there will be guides on this series since there's a lot to cover I do have a map it's around nine pages paper, pieces of paper big so yeah, I will be getting that today too to show you guys that Probably won't be able to see it too well, but yeah, because I have to trace over it better and stuff too. So yeah, um, the race is Oni. Most interactions of this is unknown, of this race is unknown, but all encounters have one thing in common. Oni will almost always kill. Oni have many ways of doing so. They also hunt kitsunes. That is their, your interactions with a Oni. As mentioned in the prologue, there was a hunting group, which they are not fond of female hunters, which I do have to add that now. But yeah, um... The Oni race is strong in numbers and abilities. Their abilities, well, something like Charles Xavier, for example. Abilities such as telepath, telepathy is one of their main abilities. Another ability is invisibility. Another one is weather manipulation. Which are big, which are a lot, very strong abilities. But yeah. So, yeah, um, weapons. Canova is a club that is flaked, I believe. I'm gonna add a picture of that into the video. Yep, a spiked club. Talon Claws. Is their other weapon? They have claws that can be used as talons, or that's just what we call them. I just couldn't remember the name of the weapon at the time when I wrote the prologue. So yeah, but oh well, we'll be trying to remember. I'm gonna fix that right now, actually. So yeah. But yeah, we have yet to I've yet to draw the forms of these, so yeah. But as we already know, their appearance is they have horns and sharp teeth. Sharp pointed teeth. So yeah. They um they're not nice either, <laughs> as you can tell. And, yeah, I will be going into the power system as well, so, yeah. 
Okay, so, power system. How do you want to make a power system? I'm actually going to put, make a video on how to make your own power systems as well. Coming up next, so, yeah. Stay tight for our third video of the day. How to make a power system. So yeah, our power system is based on a spiritual energy and a physical energy. And a physical form of that energy. Spiritual. A power in which everyone has, but not all are able to use. One would need enough energy to even be able to, see, to use it. This energy is called Misubi. This power is the power of Kami. Misubi is in every living thing. In order to use it, or even sense it, one must be in touch with their spiritual self. They must be able to have enough to use it. The lowest needed to even sense it would be about 250. But to be able to use it for anything to... But to be able to use it, that's a different story. For anything to live, it must have misery. For physical form, it must have at least 100. But even for a spirit, it must have... 50. Without Misubi, you wouldn't reincarnate. Now, the reason why we're doing, like, numbers is to give you a hint of how strong they are. It's like a chakra level, such as Kakashi mentioned this in the Naruto anime and manga to Naruto when he was working with Naruto, training him. I think he was around the Rasengan time, or whatever. Possibly. Not resting on own Rajan Shuriken area. So yeah. Kakashi says Naruto has around three to four times as much chakra as he does. That is a statement of a number system. It, by looking at that, you can tell that Naruto is stronger than Kakashi in, in chakra levels. Which is how this is working. This is just an example of that theory. So yeah. But, even, f okay, um, without Misubi, you wouldn't reincarnate, wouldn't become a spirit. When you die, without Misubi, it's over. To give up Misubi is to give up Kami, which is to give up your spirit when you die. Misubi levels range from thing to thing, but no fight is decided just from Misubi levels. One can win with the Misubi of 250 if they are smart enough, but some battles are won even before starting. This is known as a Misubi Void. Misubi Void is the gap between two Misubi levels, such as a level 50 can only stand a chance against a level 250. Although that, you're likely still to die. But yeah, so it's basically a level 100, I should say. Can only stand a chance against a level 250. One may be may increase Misubi level over time, but even Misubi level of one of 10,000 might have trouble against 10 Musubi levels of 1,000. But if one is born in a physical form with less than a level of 100 with on their body will be weaker and more fragile. If one is born with too much, they may not be able to control it and most likely die. But if one has too much and is split into two physical forms, it will be able to live, but will need its other half for full strength. This is called the Misubi Inu effect. And if you don't know what an Inu is, it's, um, if you don't put it into Google Translate, it'll just give you medical woman or something like that, but... Inyu actually means, um, it's the Japanese version of yin and yang. So, yeah. Those affected by this effect are known as Inyu, and are always born the same year and of opposite gender. Physical? The physical form of this power system is, this is a manis physical, this is a manifestation of Misubi, visible to one who can't see it spiritually. This is the use of Mitsubi in physical forms, mm. such as regalia or elements, increased traits such as strength, speed, endurance, etc. But to be able to use Mitsubi in a physical form, it would take at least 1,000, but that's just for small things such as physical traits. 
for regalia to form, you must have at least a Misubi level of 10,000 for elements. It would be of at least 5,000. But yeah, it's um, it's a lot to cover. So yeah, it's still in the workshop. But yeah, this video is already getting long enough, so I'm gonna end it here. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I was able to explain a little more in detail about the series. Oh yeah, and how to create your um, power system will be coming up next.